As the sophistication of hydraulic systems and components has increased, so has the importance of system maintenance. Today's hydraulic systems run at high pressures and faster cycle times, causing greater system stress and increased sensitivity to contamination. Contamination can lead to system failure, resulting in major downtime and costly repairs to sensitive components. Adhering to a strict maintenance schedule will help to ensure that your filter is ready to capture damaging contaminants before they reach sensitive system components. In addition to maintaining regular hydraulic filter change intervals, there are several steps you can take to maintain a clean hydraulic system. Flush all systems before the initial startup. On new equipment, changing the hydraulic filter and fluid after the first 50-hour break-in period is recommended. For even better results, change the filter and fluid after 15 hours and again after 50 hours. This allows more time for scrubbing the system. Do not expose the hydraulic system to a dirty environment. Keep the fluid level up in the hydraulic reservoir. When adding clean fluid, make sure the container, funnel, pump, and the area around the reservoir is clean. Do not mix different oil bases. Make sure the hydraulic fluid being added is compatible with the hydraulic fluid currently in the system. Do not allow the fluid to reach extreme temperatures above 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Use clean caps and plugs when replacing hydraulic hoses. Do not leave the system open. Make sure new hoses are thoroughly cleaned before installing them. Repair hydraulic leaks right away. Repair leaking hydraulic cylinders and other components. Have a fluid analysis performed on your hydraulic fluid every two years or whenever you suspect a contamination problem. A fluid analysis is an important part of a maintenance program. A fluid analysis ensures that the fluid meets manufacturer's specifications. It can also verify the composition of the fluid and determine its overall contamination level. A fluid analysis can detect potential problems before catastrophic damage occurs. Drain the hydraulic systems, clean the reservoir, and replace with clean hydraulic fluid every five to six years or whenever a catastrophic failure has occurred. If the hydraulic fluid has broken down from being too hot, you will notice lacquer deposits on the filter cover plate or elsewhere. Gum and lacquer formations point to the need for more frequent fluid and filter changes. These formations also indicate a need for flushing. Some manufacturers recommend flushing hydraulic systems with regular hydraulic fluid, while others recommend the use of solvents or cleaners. When flushing the hydraulic system, follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Some solvents and cleaners on the market today are not recommended for use in flushing hydraulic systems because they are poor lubricants, resulting in damage to moving parts, especially the pump, and they are difficult to remove completely from the system. Just a trace of some of the commercial chlorinated solvents may be enough to break down the oxidation resistance of even the best hydraulic fluids. In the presence of a small amount of water, some of these solvents will corrode steel and copper, as well as damage seals and gaskets. Also, the hydraulic fluid viscosity could be reduced sufficiently to cause malfunction in pumps or valves. Regardless of what is used for flushing the fluid, it will not thoroughly clean the system if it is not completely drained. Flushing is recommended if the fluid is badly contaminated. It is important to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Cleanliness is most important in servicing hydraulic systems. It doesn't take much dirt to score valves, seize pumps, plug orifices, and cause expensive repair jobs. A well-maintained hydraulic system can help ensure you achieve the best return on your investment.